Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Benedict, Associate Broker over at ERA Sellers and Buyers Real Estate. I'm known online as ABQ Expert. Today we're going to be talking about in-person open houses and the safety protocols we should be taking during our global pandemic, COVID-19. So uh, these rules are for June 2020 in the state of New Mexico. If you're living somewhere else in the United States or across the globe, things are very likely different for your uh, real estate association. Um, and if you're looking at this from the future, things have likely changed. If you're looking at this from the past, buckle up, 2020 is a rough one. So let's go ahead and get started at looking at some of these uh, before, during, and after protocols. So one of the things you want to do before setting up is maintain one entry point. Uh, now, first choice, usually the front door, since that's what people are typically used to. Um, I like to have the door closed and locked just so you don't have too many people coming in here. This maintains our protocol of having no more than four or no more than five people in at a time, one party at a time. Another thing I like to do, post a sign at the front door, okay, with your brokerage information and your contact information. So when individuals are walking up, they can go ahead and give you a call or a text and see if it's okay to come in and you can go ahead and go over the rules with them. The next thing we want to do, go ahead and turn on all lights um, and open doors, windows, cabinets, anything that people are going to want to touch uh, just to minimize touching and expose services and also make it easier for you to disinfect. Next thing we want to do, disinfect. So grab your disinfectant wipes or spray. Go ahead and wipe down all touch surfaces that you can, very common touch points. We want to minimize the spread of the disease um, and keep people safe and healthy. Next, we want to go ahead and set up a contact log so we can do some contact tracing if anybody falls ill. So I have it set up online through a platform, just name and contact information like phone number and email. Pen and paper works as well. Either way you're doing it, make sure that the broker or your associate who's with you is the one inputting the information just to minimize that touch point. Also, go ahead and remind visitors to contact you or your brokerage within 14 days of visiting the open house if they do fall ill or are diagnosed with COVID-19, so you could go ahead and follow through with that contact tracing. So for your in-person open house, you're also going to want to provide visitors with some disinfectant, hand sanitizer, disinfecting wipes for any surfaces they want to touch on their own, um, and masks as well. Disposable works just fine um, if they aren't wearing a mask already before coming in. Another thing you want to do, go ahead and set up a hand washing station. That's, you know, honestly the best way to be fighting disease and germs anyways is a good thorough scrub. So paper towel, not a shared towel at all, and uh, soap if it's not already provided for in a bathroom or kitchen sink, somewhere where it's easy accessible. I think the kitchen's a little bit more open and makes things a little bit less awkward than uh, the bathroom, but either one works. Um, all right, let's go. So for your in-person open house, there's some other safety procedures that you're going to want to go ahead and follow. First and foremost, make sure every visitor is wearing a mask and also has been offered some hand sanitizer when they're first coming in. Um, just in case they're feeling the urge to go ahead and touch things, at least their hands have been a little bit sanitized. Do let them know that you've got, went ahead and opened up doors, uh, windows that they might want to touch, and turned on those lights as well. Go ahead and offer them a wipe though in case they're feeling the urge and need to want to go and explore as well. You also want to make sure that you're keeping things to one party at a time and let them know that, um, just so they know that there's not going to be anyone else stepping on their toes. Uh, we want to also let them know to keep things to a minimum of five or maximum of five people at a time. That's including the broker. So if it's a larger party, you're going to want to tell them to go ahead and wait and split things up into two. And if you're working with a buddy and things add up to more than five, you're going to have to flip a coin to see who's going to be staying or going. Um, in addition, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you're filling out that contact form with them, at least for one individual in the party, um, and that includes name, phone number, and email, just so you can go ahead and follow through with that contact tracing. Um, you also want to go ahead and make sure that you're limiting bathroom use. Go ahead and ask them to, you know, try to hold back from that because that's just one more thing to sanitize. Um, and then after each party has finished their visit, go ahead and wipe down all of those common touch points and surfaces or spray it down uh, with some disinfectant spray. This is where it really helps to have a buddy in there for extra, you know, cleaning hands and get things done quickly to go ahead and move on to the next party. And then go ahead and make sure you're repeating the same, you know, rules and guidelines with each and every party that comes to visit. So after your in-person open house is all finished, you're going to want to go ahead and close up shop, right? So lock things up, shut off lights, and then also disinfect. I like to do it at the same time, right? So grab your trusty wipes, make sure we're closing up doors, wiping things down, locking up, as well as wiping down our common touch points and making sure our lights are shut off. Go ahead and do this for all of your touch points as well, right? So at least, at the very least, with some spray wipes or other, you know, spray bottle with disinfectant. Make sure everything's cleaned up. And then afterwards, 
get yourself a cold one because come on, open houses are always a little bit exhausting. Go follow up with those leads, crack open a beer, go get a smoothie, iced coffee, whatever it is you want, and you know, get those leads. <laughs> That about does it for our in-person open house safety guidelines for June 2020 in the state of New Mexico. If you like what you saw, or if you have some other safety suggestions, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'd love to hear them. Uh, if you want a buddy or uh, someone to help with an open house or doing a virtual open house, feel free to contact me at the information below as well. And if you just want to connect, make a realtor buddy. Um, I'm on all over social media, at ABQ Expert, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at ABQ Expert. Until next time, see ya.